Hey everybody, I wanted to post something about, um, I get a lot of comments on my stories and how um, they like the content about it, certain situations that can happen in real estate and it's not, it's not always like real um, serious professional or whatnot. But, you know, I was thinking that it reminded me of a um, transaction I had as probably 10 years ago and um, the communications between agents um, phone calls just don't happen as much as they used to. And if you're within a um, certain age difference of me, some people will not even talk on the phone. It's all text. It's just all text. And there's something to be said about um, putting things in context uh, from a from a email or a text to where a phone call, you can explain things and talk to somebody like a human being or whatever. So this, 10 years ago, I had a transaction um, my my sellers, I was a listing agent, they were closing on their house and then buying a house the same day, which is always a nightmare to try to work out. And to make matters worse, these people were friends of mine. I knew them. Um, and it, it gets a little hairy sometimes, you know, business and personal, whatever. But, um, you know, we always try our best. And what happened was uh, I was the listing agent, the seller, uh, represent the seller. And... A day before closing, the buyer's agent has a survey done. And with a due diligence period in North Carolina, you want to have everything done prior to due diligence, but a survey is a title issue. So that does not allow a, a seller to keep someone's earnest money because it was a, it was a um, title issue where there was an encroachment on their property, meaning their fence went on the neighbor's property by like two or three inches. So I tried to make it work out between the buyer's agent talking to their client to talk to the neighbor who the buyer was going to be a new neighbor of this person that the buyer's agent really wasn't um, responding to me. The, the neighbor of my seller said they're not signing any encroachment agreement. They're not, they're just not doing anything like that. So I just did the most craziest thing you could possibly think about. I had the buyers who were not my clients got in touch with them, had them, meet me and the seller, the neighbors of the sellers, meet both of them, put them together as human beings and talk the situation through. I walked away and lo and behold, they liked each other. It worked out. No agreement needed to be signed. But the point is, is it's a lot better when you can talk to somebody on the phone instead of a text or email when there's no emotion coming through whatsoever. So just a little tidbit I thought I'd pass on.